you ever find yourself in After Effects looking at all the different effects menus and seeing kind of what they do? Well, you know, there's so many different effects. That's why in this video, I want to take a look specifically at the distort category and take a look at my five favorite distort effects right here for After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone's doing excellent today. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. We're posting one minute tutorials on there. That link will be below. So this tutorial is all about using these five effects to help you enhance your work. You can use one of these effects to enhance your work, or you can use all five of them on pretty much any project you're working on. It's good to just to experiment and see what works for you to help you increase your value and help you build up your style of motion graphics. So let's jump in. Let's take a look at these five effects and let's get started. All right, the first effect we're going to take a look at is Turbulent Displace. Now, this is a very common distort effect, but it's extremely powerful. So we'll go ahead and apply this effect, Turbulent Displace. And this is great to be applied to overall compositions that help distort it uh, in a unique way. So how this effect works is simple. You have a few settings here at the top that you should pay attention to. The displacement type here. So I like to use Turbulent Smoother, but you can take a look at all those different options. And it's just kind of how it's going to be displaced. And you can come here and bring down the amount if you don't want it to be so intense or you can also increase the size. So those those are the two settings there that I would take a look at. Also, you're probably gonna want this to be somewhat animated because right now uh, it's just a static effect. It's not doing anything. So what you can do is come here to evolution and all click the stopwatch and type in the uh, you know time asterisk 20 or something a little bit more intense than that. And this will allow this to be animated. So maybe we'll actually do 200 on that. And now we have a cool funky effect here that can be used in some situations. I did use this recently on a space tutorial where we increase the complexity up um, and it does some really crazy stuff. So this effect does have multiple uses for overall distortion or to make things a little bit more on the uh, electricity uh, liquidy side. All right, the next effect we'll take a look at is wave warp, which can be applied to an overall composition. And this can apply a glitchy sort of distortion effect to your overall work. but. I like to customize this a little bit. So you come here to wave type and you can set this to sawtooth and you're gonna get these straight cuts here. You also have other options to work with like noise, uh, which can give you a very interesting look as well. So that is really cool, but I like to look at sawtooth. You can take a look at the other stuff as well and you can increase the uh, height and the width and you can get some unique looks. But overall, what this does is create some slight glitches and distortions into your work. So we can change the direction here, but overall applies these clean wavy type glitches to your work very quickly. The next effect I'd like to talk about is the liquify effect. So this effect is awesome if you want to control the distortion of your image. So for example, here we have the effect applied and we can just start drawing out or painting uh, by using the brush tool here to distort our image uh, so it can look uh, different and unique. Uh, we have a few different options here so you can increase the size of the brush and also the pressure now this effect is heavy on processing but that's all right so what you can do here is you can add a keyframe for a distortion mesh right and you can go through your animation and you can manipulate the mesh or you know your image and they will animate so it's a really cool way to just control your animation. So you can use this effect to control the distortion of a very specific part of your composition. All right, this next effect is really two effects. It's optics compensation and CC lens. Now, these two effects uh, can be used together, but they pretty much do similar things. So with CC lens first here, you can just increase the size and this will distort the edges of your compositions. And CC lens creates more of a spherical look around the edge of your composition. So it could look really cool depending on what work you have. And with optics compensation, We'll come here and we'll apply that real quick. You can increase the field of view and it'll just warp it as well, but you can check on reverse lens distortion and it'll just be more of a ovally type distortion, more of a, rather than a perfect circle. So even though the effects look very similar, you do get two different perspectives uh, when you use these effects and you can use them together and you'll create something uh, a little bit even more unique, but it might be too much distortion when you uh, roll with that. And before we move on to our next effect, I want to give a huge shout out to our 1400 plus motion graphics professionals pack right here for After Effects. So this is our motion graphics professionals pack, which has over 1400 templates right here for After Effects, along with a handful of categories. But one category we'll take a look at is the titles. So what you can do is preview a template before you apply it. And when you find the right template, you click on apply. And with a click of a button, we have a full title animation inside of our composition. We can go into that comp and quickly change out our titles. And you can easily change colors with a click of a button. 
and everything will update in our main composition. This animated background is from our motion graphics high tech category where you can just apply a really cool background. We also have some really cool particle overlays in here as well that you can apply into any After Effects project. So if you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and have a full extension, you can take a look at any of our packs we have off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything from our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you. All right. So for our last effect, we're going to be talking about displacement map, which is under the sort menu as well. Uh, but this simply allows you to create glitch animation animations um, and a few other things. So how this works is you have to create an adjustment layer and you go to effect, distort, and you grab uh, displacement map. And this effect does not really work on its own. You have to have some sort of map layer to do what you want this effect to do. So how this works is simple. We can come here to layer, new, uh, solid, and we'll click OK and we'll go to effect, noise and grain, and we'll have to add, say, a fractal noise as an example. And you know, you can copy my settings here if you want to follow along with me, but I'm going to set the fractal type to max, the noise type to block. I'm going to increase the contrast and bring down the brightness here. I'm also going to come here to the transform tab and uncheck uniform scaling. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the scale width all the way up to a few thousand points here. So like 5,000, for example. And I can come here to evolution, all the stopwatch, and I'm going to type in time asterisk 200. And you'll have something like this and then we'll take our black saw layer and we'll go to layer pre-compose you just call it map uh, make sure to click on move all attributes into new comp click ok you can turn off that layer go to your adjustment layer and set that displacement map layer to the previous map so now you're going to get some glitches here with your displacement map and you can take this even further by increasing the horizontal displacement and the vertical displacement to create a more of a customized glitch here and this effect can be a little bit more customized you can go into your map layer and you can just say, turn that off. And we can create like say a single rectangle here. And if we go back in the previous comp, you'll see that rectangle is gonna create that one single uh, cut right there. So you can create your own custom glitch by using uh, you know, a single shape or whatever you wanna do. But you can take a look at animating the vertical displacement and the horizontal displacement to create a really cool glitch. So that's our tutorial on these five distorted effects. If you have any other effects that should have been featured in this video, be sure to comment that down below. But I hope you did enjoy this video. If you're new to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my Instagram. I will link that below. Be sure to follow that for more tutorials. And always, be creative.